Good afternoon. I'm Nick Raber with Ephesus News, DOG, home of one of the seven wonders of the world. We're back here with John in his home studio, uh, and we're hoping to get a little bit more info on the next installment. What is wrong with your shoulder? Well, it's uh, it's okay, but I was I was over at the club with throwing javelins with Jay. Throw, throwing javelins with Jay. Yeah. All right. So it's okay, though. A little sore. Okay. Yeah. All right. Okay. So, John, we we want to hear a little bit more about your your next installment of of the sermon letter that you've got going in the church. Can you give us maybe a little bit of a summary or highlights or what do you sure. got going? Sure. I, I brought the manuscript with with me. Uh, brought it home today. Um, this installment, we're talking a lot about uh, uh, loving one another, and that uh, love is from God, and uh, whoever loves has been born of God and knows God. Uh, John, yes, we've heard all of this already. You've talked oh. about this. Yes, yes. Yes. So, do you have anything that we haven't heard yet? Yes, uh, uh, God is love, and then uh, uh, God so loved us, uh, we also ought to love one another. And uh, if we love one another, God abides with us, and his love is perfected in us. Yeah. We've heard that. You, yes. Do you have any, anything new, any new material here? Okay, yes. Uh, we love because he first loved us. And, uh, and, and whoever loves God must also love his brother. John, do you have anything other than love? No. Why? Well, basically it boils down to uh, God is love so much that that's all of who he is that uh, if you're going to want to know about who God is, you have to understand what love means. And if you're going to define love, then you've got to talk about who God is because they're so intertwined with each other that you could go on and on and on just talking about love and you've still only scratched the surface of who God really is. Wow, John, that actually makes a lot of sense. Thanks. This is Nick Raber with Ephesus, Ephesus News. Next up, we've got the weather. Oh, hey there. I'm Nicodemus with Ephesus News, C-O-R-N, home of one of the seven wonders of the world. And I am subbing in for the regular weather guy here today. And so we're going to be looking at the weather uh, in this part of the world. And if you know, it's hot and dry. And hot and dry is not great for the maize. You know, maize likes rain. It likes the heat, but it likes the rain. There's been a ton of heat units. I don't know what heat units are, but there's a lot of them out there. And the maize likes that, but it needs rain. So we're hot and dry right here. We've been hot and dry. We're hot and dry now. We're going to be hot and dry for quite a while. And that's it.